The Drifter has this mysterious cargo that he's been dragging behind his ship for who knows how long. The ball. The ball. The ball. There's, yeah, that big chunk of ice. Where did it come from? In the season of The Drifter, we get to finally go to his ship. When you go into this thing, it's not what you expect. The Drifter has got some of the coolest lore in the game, and this entire release is focused on Drifter. Gambit is a chance at salvation. Take it. So in season six, we've got something for everybody, whether you're a D2 owner, a Forsaken owner, or an annual pass owner. We've got new gear to chase, new weapons to chase. We've got exotic quests. We've got clan rings. We've got lore. Every week, there's something different for you to do. Players want to play with their friends right now. They don't want to play 10 hours of something else just to be able to go play Season of the Drifter. So we came up with Power Surge Bounties to get you up to 640 power within the first hour to two of your gameplay experience. <laughs> Enough fooling around. Day one, you're going to log in, you're going to talk to the Drifter. He's going to inform you that the most important thing you do is go play Gambit Prime. So you're going to want to play Prime and then go play Reckoning, and then and take then your rewards back. from Reckoning back to Prime. Yeah, it's this great yeah. little loop. Dredging. No, not anymore. It's Drifter now. In season of the Drifter, there's some super deep lore with Drifter and the Nine. They're working with him for some reason. When you're helping him, it may or may not be the right thing to do, but you just don't know. I know you all keep tabs on me. Drifter has finally moved shop. He's running a new scam now. He's got a new thing that he calls Gambit Prime. Gambit Prime is the sweatier version. Risks are higher, the reward is higher. If Gambit was training for a heist, Gambit Prime is the heist. On day one, it's gonna feel a little closer to that Gambit you've been playing originally. And then all of a sudden, the mode is actually going to transform over time as players unlock perks. And it's just one round, so it's really focused into this one short, intense experience. A couple things have changed. A few very important elements that can swing matches, too. First of all, players can actually drain moats from an enemy team. Additionally, there's new mechanics during the primeval phase that ask people to work as a group, almost like a raid, in order to actually DPS the boss and win. We got feedback from players. They wanted to play Gambit private matches, like they can do in the Crucible. Just get into a fire team. Go in solo if you want to and like check it out. Run around the maps. Create tournaments. In the original Gambit, we had these four soft roles. The goal was with Gambit Prime, we wanted to really emphasize these roles. And what can we do to, to make people feel like they are picking and playing a specific role? So we built brand new armor sets that allow you to basically lean into the roles that we built for the activity. Calling the Reaper, the person who kills as many combatants as possible. The Collector, the person who collects as many moats as possible to send blockers. The Sentry, the person who's focused on defeating the Taken and helps you kill the Primeval. And then, of course, the classic invader who's going to wreak havoc on the other team as many times as possible. We don't actually know how people are going to play different roles, but it's going to be interesting to see how they concoct their teams and go in and play. Yeah. We actually have two new maps coming in the release. Mm -hmm. The Mars map is first week. Yeah. Titan is yep. the second week. There's a new weapon speed for Gambit Prime, the Spare Rations Hand Cannon, the Soul Survivor Sniper Rifle, the Doomsday Grenade Launcher. We're really excited about these weapons because not only do they play really, really well, but they look amazing. They look like they were designed by this space biker rebel guy. <laughs> Who's seen some serious shit? It's a big improvement over Black Armory. Annual pass owners, day one, you will have full access to being able to play. 
as soon as you finish your first Gambit Prime match, Reckoning is gonna open up. You're teleported into the Plains of the Nine, which is this huge, like, vast space. The Reckoning is a pinnacle PvE experience inside the Drifter's Ball, and it's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it's not easy. It is not yeah. easy. Yeah. When you first get dropped into Reckoning, it's complete chaos. You don't know what's going on. You're going to have to move fast. You're going to have to kill fast. High octane, <laughs> yeah. back against the wall, enemies spawning. You're getting attacked from all directions. Think the Crota Raid from D1. <laughs> yeah. At first, you're only going to have access to Tier 1, and then Tier 2 and Tier 3 will slowly unlock. It gets more and more chaotic. And there's a timer counting can, down the whole time. Timer counting down. So every week, as you play through Reckoning, you're going to come out with more and more pieces of armor for Gambit Prime. Every piece of armor has the Drifter's snake decal on all pieces, and the color of that decal corresponds to the role that you're playing. So if you're an invader set, you've got these glowing, like, red snakes covering your entire armor set. So yeah. when you see someone come over, you're going to know. Or if you see someone Imagine in the ready, the ready room, room if everyone is glowing and everyone has an aura, you should be expecting those top tier perks. You're gonna look across or look at yeah. your team and go, oh Four my God. invaders? Yeah, that's uh -huh. crazy. Like, you don't know what's gonna happen. We're really excited for all the content we've got coming out, not just annual pass content. The new Crucible pinnacle weapon, the yep. new Vanguard pinnacle yep. weapon, the new spring event yep. coming, which the we've Revelry. never had before, the Revelry. Yeah. Week so. two, you're going to start your journey to Thorn. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to complain about people with Thorn yeah. as I'm holding Thorn. <laughs> yeah. Season of the Drifter is really the first time we're coming out really understanding how we want to structure a season of content. Leaning into Shape Destiny more in line with what our core community wants. We're starting to figure out what the roadmap for a Bungie-controlled Destiny looks like. This is one of the most exciting times. We're beginning to form up the muscles to make Destiny a quick-reacting live game, and I can only see it getting better from here. This is just the beginning of a conversation that we're going to have with you about where Destiny can go. Right now, the team's upstairs testing Season of Opulence. We're already building plans for how to make the thing comes out. After that, even better. There's we're... a thing that comes out after that? Well, oh, <laughs> for the last one. <laughs> Until then, Go check out Gambit Prime.